Welcome to the Terrier group. These are kind of your, typically your smaller dogs. I'm not going to say always, but typically smaller breeds of dogs um, that were developed to hunt underground. Um, the name for terrier is actually derived from the Latin word terra, which means earth. Um, there are two subgroups, the long-legged and the short-legged. So some of them are taller as opposed to others. So examples, first one we're going to talk about is the fox terrier. And they come in two types. They can either be smooth-haired or wire-haired. They are one of the best known and is the most widely distributed purebred dog. They are noted for their courage in hunting animals that den in the ground. So any animal that would actually create a den and hibernate underground, the fox terrier is going to go over. We're going, we're going to go after, I suppose. Um, white really should be the dominant color on the fox terrier. Um, brindle, red, or, or liver are really to be avoided. Um, you really want them to be mostly white. The miniature schnauzer. Um, this is a German breed, and you can kind of tell, right? Schnauzer sounds German. Um, they were developed to hunt badger, foxes, weasels, animals like that. They actually now make very good apartment dogs, and it's a pet that's very fond of children. Um, it looks like it would be kind of grumpy, but they're actually very not. They're really not. Um, typically, they are less than 20 pounds. They're only about 12 to 14 inches in height at the shoulder. They're very stocky built, and they're wire-haired. The Parson Russell Terrier, this is the Jack Russell, essentially, um, and it's not necessarily recognized by every single kennel club out there, but the American Kennel Club does recognize them, um, and they recognize them as part of the Terrier group, um, formerly known as the Jack Russell, and it's still recognized in other places as a separate breed entirely, and it is not included in a group. They're very highly energetic dogs. They need a lot of time to run around or go for walks, stuff like that. Um, they are kind of, I don't want to say a tiny terror, but they are definitely high energy. Um, I used to pet sit for a lady that actually had a Jack Russell who was three-legged, and it did not slow him down in the slightest. He chased squirrels like nobody's business. His name was Bruce. And Brucey would chase squirrels. He came out to the barn and ran around with the horses, and... Let's think about this, okay? Jack Russell Terrier is not very big, right? Very small kind of dogs versus 1,200-pound animal. Who do you think won? Bruce. The Airedale Terrier. So this is one of those long-legged terriers. Um, these were really cool. Um, when I worked in the vet clinic, we actually worked a lot with an Airedale Terrier rescue. They pretty much always have this color pattern, the black with the brown, um, and they are wire-haired. And they're just, they're really cool dogs. They're fun to be around. They're very sweet, very affectionate, um, easygoing dogs. They've got that wire-haired coat. The Bedlington Terrier, I think they look so cute when they're groomed um, with that. They want them to look like they have a Roman nose, even though they don't quite have a Roman nose. Um, so I've got a picture of one that has been groomed and then one that has not been groomed. Um, the, the way that the breed wants them to look or whatever. Um, they're kind of cool looking dogs, though. I think they're, I, I like the little pom-poms in the end of the ears, honestly. The Border Terrier, this is another um, short-legged breed. Um, they have kind of a wiry hair to them, but it's not as long as some of the other breeds. The Bull Terrier, you might recognize this guy. He is the target mascot. Um, they actually do have a Roman nose, so they have kind of a rounded front part of their head. They look really intimidating to me, but they're actually not. They're actually very sweet dogs. The Sky Terrier. Um, the Sky Terrier is another short-legged breed. Kind of looks like it can't see, um, but they do have kind of a, they have a longer hair coat than a lot of the other terriers. It can be difficult to keep it nice and pretty. you got to brush it and comb them out quite a bit. The Welsh Terrier, you might be sitting there thinking, well, that looks like the Airedale Terrier. And they do. Um, they are a little bit smaller. They're not quite as tall as the Airedales. Check out the next video for the working group.